The Brahma Bull looks ready to lay the smack down. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock. Here's an absolute impressive young athlete on the grandest stage. Now think about this, The Rock main evented WrestleMania 15 at the age of 26. Yeah, but from the moment he stepped foot in WWE, WrestleMania was The Rock's destiny. Third generation star who was born for WrestleMania. The Brahma Bull has an immense amount of momentum behind him. Yeah, and you can see that he's dead set on re... The Viper is ready. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy! A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. I know it's much easier said than done, but this superstar cannot let The Rock get in his head. Now is the time to focus on the task at hand. It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations to think about too, Corey. You're right, Michael. If it's not nailed down, it can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. Well, not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. Hoist it up. Oh, no, no, no! Whoa, there goes the wall! What a train wreck. Picture perfect from the rock. Making his climb up the cell now. Why on earth would you do that? And here we go, business picking up as he starts to climb the cell. Oh, uh, looks like an act of desperation. A big one. He finally made it to the top of the cage after a long, hard climb. Yeah, but Saxton, I have a feeling the hard part's just beginning. Why in the world are they doing this? They escaped the dangers of the cell just to fight up to the top where every step could be harassed. And the Rock gets warded off. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. 
Oh, stomping away. You could hear the chain link fence buckling with every impact. Oh, stop right to the hand. They are ravenous for these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. Float over into the DDT. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Everyone in this building is just waiting on bated breath. We've all seen life-altering moments come from the top of that cell. Swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Picked oh. up. Back drop suplex. Warm up the engine on the ambulance. I got a very bad feeling about where these competitors are going to end up soon. Short clothesline. Orton starting to get the crowd involved. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut, John. Hell is a mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, targeting the stomach. We knew this was going to be a vicious match, but these superstars are taking it above anyone's expectations. Proving Hell doesn't need to stay in the confines of the cell. Hell can go anywhere. Just punishing his opponent. Seeing that killer instinct of Orton's, this is what the Apex Predator is all about. We've already seen part of the cell break apart. No telling what more can break apart is now these athletes are taking their chances in a very perilous position at the top of Hell in a Cell. We're measuring his opponent and, and a big time knee drop. The Rock is becoming a bloody mess in there. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. Change his career forever, Cole, and frankly, it'll probably change mine. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Avoiding contact. Setting up the table. He is done playing around. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. No! He's on his heels a bit now. And this is where Hell in a Cell earns its name, people. The damage is just piling up as we head into deep waters. These men have shown no indication of staying down. Their guts, their fire won't allow them to give up. Solid punch. He'll take things into the ring. What grace. Float over the, into the DDT. Can't get there to start counting. This is all for nothing. 
Still in it with a quick kick out. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Gets him in position. Is it? Uh, he's got precarious position for both superstars from the top. He's looking to get back in this. The Viper got tired of being pushed around and is set to start striking back. Oh, close line. And The Rock piling on even more damage. The Rock not allowing the nature of this match to prevent him from getting back on top. Well shouted by the great one. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. The Rock's opponent needs to know his role. And come on, no, don't bring the trash can out. That's for cleaning. Well, Saxton, it's about to be used to clean house. What's he open to find down there? That table has only one destiny, and it involves being broken in half. Re-entering the ring now. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. You better have an aptitude for pain, because it just keeps coming. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. Caught with a clothesline. Momentum complete. Oh, he was waiting for it the whole time. Shoulder shoots up before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, Randy Orton, the apex predator. Oof, gets cut down in an instant. In the all kick to the DDT. Horton has the momentum against him here. And The Rock's opponent is looking like a jabroni. Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. He saw it coming. Tough position to be caught in here. Check your face out. The kick out after the one. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think a table really ties it all together. Lifted way up. And the referee gets caught in the line of fire. Oh, the rock and arm wrench. And he goes into the right. And that was a hell of a DDT there. Uh-oh! Countered it! Just in time! This place is going insane! The ground beneath my feet is shaking. I don't know how much he has left in the tank, but he's got enough for this. Oh, boy, this won't end well. From the heavens. With bad aiming there as the rip takes a blow. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. You almost feel the intensity coming from the rock on that attack. Close line. The rock has him hooked. Rock bottom. That could end Orton now. showing a tenacity from Orton to manage the kick out. Rock might need to dial up a little more electricity than usual if that wasn't enough. Steered clear of that. What a close line! Ouch! Here it comes! Rock bottom! The rock bottom! The rock got all of it! There it is! Rock bottom! Will that prove to be enough this time? win inside hell in a cell here is your winner the rock and it's randy orton on the losing end of this one we just got an up close reminder as to why the rock really is the people's champ